almost like the flashpoint where it starts, one of the key matrix lines that will help shatter this status centralized system. But there's more old drunks than they are old doctors, so I guess we better have another round. Hello, everyone. This is Flashpoint Radio. I am your host, Jay Z, and it is Wednesday, June 27th, 2012. Wednesday is Health and Science here on Flashpoint Radio, and boy, do we have some strange stories to focus on this evening. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Flashpoint Radio and Facebook.com slash Flashpoint Radio. Let's get right to your news. First up, from the AP, this will be the news of tomorrow and, well, the near future, health ruling to end campaign mystery unleash ads. Barely four months before the nation votes, one of the biggest factors in the fight for the White House is still a mystery. That will change on Thursday. The Supreme Court's expected to rule on Obamacare tomorrow. Um, So, watch out! Things are going to get bumpy. Uh, The pundits from both sides will get on their horses and ride, um, feeding you full of uh, propaganda from all sides. Make up your own decisions. Don't listen to the talking heads, even me. Um, But we'll see what happens. It's clearly unconstitutional, so uh, I would think that at least the main provision of forcing you to buy health care will be thrown out. Hopefully the provision about raising taxes uh, in order to pay for health care as well. But we will find find that out sometime tomorrow. More to come. Moving to Miami, CBS Miami, medical examiner, Causeway Cannibal not high on bath salts. Yes, the man who was caught on tape and shot and killed by police officers while gnawing the face off a homeless gentleman, Rudy Eugene, uh, his autopsy came back, or his toxicology came back, and the coroner says no bath salts. So they automatically said bath salts, which led to a raft of other stories claiming bath salts were involved in uh, strange happenings and and, uh, violent outbursts from people. And yes, the one that started it all, no bath salts. The only drug found in his system was marijuana, of course. So yes, it's cannabis, a plant that has always been around that is causing people to eat uh, other people. Yes, he said, the coroner said that no prescriptions, no crack, no LSD, no meth was found in his system. Do you really think if they found Prozac or another government-approved prescription drug in his system, they would say it? No. I urge everyone who uh, is involved in a violent crime, any, any survivors, to release medical records and prescriptions these people are on. Uh, I would put money on the fact that this gentleman was on some sort of psychotropic prescription drug. But we'll never know. But we do know that he was not on bath salts. But while we're talking about marijuana, cannabis sativa from Reuters, Chicago Mayor Emanuel backs marijuana decriminalization. Now this may sound good to everyone that uh, supports the decriminalization of marijuana. No. This is simply Chicago Mayor Emanuel saying they are no longer going to process people caught with uh, small amounts of cannabis. They're just going to write them tickets. So this turns into a money-making scheme for the city of Chicago. And, well, why wouldn't another large city follow suit? New York Governor Cuomo proposes reducing marijuana penalty. The exact same thing proposed by the governor of New York. Uh, Simply stop enforcing and stop arresting and processing people and just write them tickets and make them pay a fine. Uh, How about just wake up? It's a plant. Uh, It doesn't cause deaths. It's not addictive. And it is not the gateway drug. Uh, We all know pharmaceuticals are the gateway drug. uh, And nicotine. So yes, how about we not tax it, not uh, put government controls on it, and not write tickets that people are going to have to show up like a parking ticket to pay. That is simple revenue generation by our local governments. Don't fall for it. But the government cares about you. That's why they want to stop you from doing things that uh, you choose to do 
in your own way, but from the weekly standard, we're from the government and we're here to help you lose weight. Yes. Too many Americans are fat, and now a federal health advisory panel recommended that all obese adults receive intensive counseling in an effort to rein in a growing health crisis in America. So yes, the government, the federal government, will force people who choose to be fat, because yes, uh, almost everyone that is fat chooses to be fat, will now force you to go through counseling. Why? Because I am paying for your health care, or that's the way they want it. And if everyone's paying for your health care, then this is a, a logical step. So the logical liberty step is to take away all health care for anyone because it's not a right. You do not have a right to not die. People die. And you cannot stop that. Therefore, you cannot place a right on health. Move along, people. We cannot fix dumb people that make bad decisions. Moving along to global warming, climate change from the Toronto Sun, green dribble exposed. The godfather of global warming lowers the boom on climate change hysteria. James Lovelock, the godfather of global warming, he came up with the Gaia theory, which uh, basically says that the Earth is a living entity and is the mother of all things. It is the Mother Earth theory. He came out and said that Climate change and global warming is ridiculous when he is the one that championed it in the beginning. But being an honest scientist, he has looked at the research data since then and the fact that we haven't been warming. And he has stated that he's a proponent of fracking, natural gas. And he says he mocks the idea modern economies can be powered by wind turbines. He said, quote, Sustainable development is meaningless drivel. We rushed into renewable energy without any thought. The schemes are largely hopelessly inefficient and unpleasant. I personally can't stand windmills at any price. And he also blasts the Greens for treating global warming like a religion. Well, sir, you created it. And at least you're coming out and being honest and telling the world that it is ridiculous and it is a money-making scheme to steal the wealth and put us into a... Uh, post-industrial world where the uber elite control us serfs. Wake up, people. All environmentalism is fascism. That's all it is. True environmentalism is conservation. It is fishermen. It is hunters. It is people who uh, utilize nature. They don't leave it be. Moving along, though... Out of cnsnews.com, new disability regs limit slope of many golf holes, require businesses to admit many horses and guide animals. Yes, federal law now states that you have to allow a mini horse into your business because it is classified as an assist animal, assistant animal under the Americans with Disabilities Act. And now they are regulating the slope on miniature golf courses. Don't you just love your government caring about the right things? But at the same time, the federal government is saying people should allow mini horses. We have this from CBS Philly. Military veteran claims New Jersey Wawa restricted him from bringing service dog inside. This gentleman tried to bring a service dog into a convenience store, and they mocked and laughed at him and told him to leave. Uh, I'm not one to say that businesses should be forced to do anything at all. But if a dog doesn't poop, it doesn't cause a ruckus, and it doesn't destroy anything, I don't care. If he says it's a service dog, it's a service dog. Let him go. But he'll definitely have to get a mini horse from now on because those are covered. And finally, we're going to cover a topic that uh, has been on my mind for quite some time since the first case, I believe it was early last year. Uh, and that would be on-air reporters, journalists, having strokes, meltdowns, gibberish fits. The, re the most recent case comes from Major League Baseball and the Texas Ranger broadcaster Dave Barnett. This is what he had to say last week. Go ahead, Ron. Is at fifth. 
on what Adams is insisting on calling it a botched robbery. What actually happened was his henchman. Yeah, uh, I have no idea. They say it may be migraines, but I say it's probably the pharmaceutical drugs that tend to do things to your brain. Or it could be a number of any other things, but before you say this is an isolated incident and nothing to be worried about, let's see what I found in just five minutes of research on the internet. How about this, the one that started it all, Serene Branson with an after Grammy report. Stage coverage we're seeing for the very first time, Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Terrace and let's go the bit. They had the pit. That went viral. That is one of the strangest and most profound of all the gibberish. But we're not done yet. How about Sarah Car Carlson from Wisconsin? Wisconsin is the latest state, including Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Ohio, and Wyoming, to join Florida's suit. The states claiming the exorcist saw Antisracho and Palais Brinritz by Health Urgent. Similar to the last. We also have a Canadian journalist speaking of the uh, Libya war. Now, uh, Defense Minister uh, McCain uh, McLeod did confirm today that more than 54 18 fighter jets are spending about as much as 20 and ready to as assist the 600, uh, 100 deployed over the amount needed. Now, it did depend that how the NOLAN remerges RN while the university or the UN mi mission has whole received support from all patteries in the hues of the, the garbage uh, of today. Excuse me. Uh, I'll hand it back to you. More of the same. And just so you know, it, does, it is not uh, quarantined to the United States. We have this from... I believe the Czech Republic. And it's not in English, but you can clearly see that she is having similar problems that all of the other reporters are having. I don't know. I think it's just odd. No one said anything about it. Uh, the logical and mainstream media explanation is migraine headaches. I don't buy it. I buy pharmaceutical drugs. I buy some sort of uh, effects from being around all of the equipment that they deal with, but not migraine headaches. That stuff is weird. So we'll bring you any more instances of that. But that is Health and Science Flashpoint Radio for this Wednesday. Jay-Z signing off, saying God bless, and keep your eyes to the sky. But there's more old drunks than there are old doctors, so I guess we better have another round. Well, now I gotta get drunk. I sure do dread it, cause I know just what I'm gonna